Most of my patients are frustrated with the results that they've been getting in their journey to reclaim their health. Our healthcare system should really be separated into two different pieces. When it comes to emergency room and trauma, we're really by far leaders in the world. But when it comes to overall health and degenerative diseases and things like diabetes, cancer, arthritis, hepatitis, we're not handling those problems very well in this country. Does anybody know how we rank in chronic illness and disease? According to the World Health Organization, which is like the United Nations of Healthcare, 37th, 37th as a country. We're mostly managing our pain and suffering. There are medications for any of those conditions, but they're not turning the condition around. They're allowing you to live as long as you can without that much pain and suffering. My patients are asking the question, is it possible for me to turn the clock back and go to the point in my life where I wasn't sick? It could be five years ago or 10 years ago, at that point where their bodies hadn't broken down yet. Well, the science world, not the medical world, is really pointing towards looking very deep in the body at the cellular level. And when you look at that level, you start to see that if the person is ever going to change their health, they have to address helping the smallest unit of their body get healthy again. Normal cells perform many functions essential to maintaining good health. They must be able to take in nutrition, and eliminate waste or toxins. Normal cells must defend themselves from intruders like unfriendly bacteria, fungi, viruses, and free radicals, and repair the damage done by them. In addition, cells must work together as a team, communicating with other cells to achieve optimal organ and immune system function. Research has already proven our cells need certain essential nutrients. 26 different vitamins, 72 or more trace minerals, numerous fatty acids, and amino acids. Since our bodies don't produce these, we must get them from our diet. Recently, scientists have discovered that there are at least eight sugars, called monosaccharides, that our cells also need for optimal function. Inside cells, these sugars combine with protein strands and form complex structures called glycoforms. The exterior of a healthy cell is covered with a dense forest of these glycoforms. Glycoforms can exchange infinite combinations of information depending on their shape and charge. Glycoforms are present on the surface of all cells and actually prevent viruses, bacteria, and other enemy cells from entering a healthy cell by blocking the entrance to the cell's surface. Glycoforms can hold on to an enemy cell until an immune system cell can arrive to destroy it. Healthy immune system cells can also accurately identify normal cells and not interfere with their function. Cells covered with glycoforms enable clear and accurate cell-to-cell -cell and system-to-system -system communication, creating an information superhighway within the body. Glycoforms play a vital role in every human physiological process. Immune system response, tissue regeneration, cell replication, growth, and structural stability. They are even responsible for the attraction of sperm cells to an egg cell surface to foster fertilization. When a cell does not receive the nutrition it needs, it cannot produce energy and it really loses its function. Healthy cells don't function optimally without glyconutrients. That's all there is to it. We now know how important these eight sugars are to human health. The problem is, only two, glucose and galactose, are readily available in our modern diets. A fraction of these other six sugars can be gotten through diet, but modern agricultural methods, food processing, widespread use of toxic pesticides and chemical fertilizers have all but eliminated them from our food supply. The body, to an extent, can make glyconutrients. That's the job of the liver. 
However, that is an emergency mechanism. When we're making our own glyconutrients, it's basically a state of starvation. If you don't have enough of the right type of sugars, you have um, faulty processing. With the faulty processing, things can go wrong. Without vital sugars and a variety of other micronutrients, cells cannot create glycophores. The result is a breakdown in cellular communication and immune system response. Depleted cells are unable to defend themselves effectively, so cell structures can be damaged and are not effective in healing and regenerating. In this weakened state, cells cannot communicate effectively, compromising the body's ability to identify problems. They are also unable to destroy pathogens such as viruses, bacteria, and fungi, and cannot identify mutated cells so the immune system can eliminate them. For example, when a person suffers from an autoimmune disorder, their compromised immune system may respond inappropriately and treat altered normal cells as intruders and destroy them. It may allow mutated cells to proliferate, or the immune system may not respond at all, leaving the body extremely vulnerable to many types of infectious agents. We need to eat the right foods to make the right structures to have optimal health. There's a break in the link here because we can't get that food anymore in today's modern diet. Therefore, there's a need to supplement with a type of nutrient called a glyconutrient. We, by doing this, are not treating the patient. All we're doing is returning to the diet what has been lost over the decades.